and I'll start sharing my screen. And this week, uh, we're going to re uh, do methods. Okay. Um, Methods, you might have heard uh, the word functions before, if you've ever done other programming. Basically methods, functions are just methods that return a value, okay? Functions are methods that turn a value. They're kind of like a subclass of method in my description anyway. The, um, some of the things we're gonna look at is why we do methods, first of all, uh, it's, we want to, instead of shoving everything in the main, we want to uh, break it down into simpler parts, okay? For one, it becomes easily, easier to build and debug your programs this way. The second thing is, um, easier to debug, reusability, okay? We want to be able to reuse the programs. And you'll see it, as we work through the program, We'll build it piece by piece by piece. So in the real world, you could save these individual pieces, okay? And like a puzzle later on, uh, we could come back to them and let's say that we had a formula to do a certain thing, maybe um, calculate the tensile strength of the steel for the McCluggage Bridge or something. And two years from now, somebody comes along and says, hey, you know, I got to calculate the tensile strength of the Murray Baker Bridge. And you said, you know, I've got the code from when we did the steel over at the McCluggage. You can just pop that into your program, okay? So again, that's, uh, we can, reusability is a big thing. Uh, let's see what other things. So that's basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna send and return values, okay? Um, to keep the scopes down. There's, there's a bad programming practice and then there's a good programming practice. Uh, scope again is the places that you can use your variables. So I could make all my variables, I could put them, make them all global or whatever, public, global so that any program in the world could use, or any program in my computer could use the same uh, methods and everything, and variables, I, I meant. But that's not good, it's not economic, because there's no reason to really have, I used to give the example at ICC when we were actually going there, is I'd ask students, well, how many of you drove here today? And I'd usually get, you know, 20 hands because very few people live out there. And then uh, I'd say, okay, how many of you left your car running today? And then I'd say, why not? You're gonna use it later. Why didn't you leave it running? And most people say, well, I don't wanna pay for the gas or, or the resources, right? I don't wanna eat up resources that I don't need to use. Same thing here. Why would I create a variable and use up that resource or that amount of mem memory when I'm only gonna use that, fa that variable in one small method in my program. So we need to learn how to start sending those back and forth. Uh, basically, we create parametized um, methods, ones that have parameters, or a, it's also called a signature, and we send arguments into those to fill those parameters, okay? So the ones we got this week are sum of digits. So basically it's in the book. I think it's uh, you type in a bunch of like a 10 or six digit number and it adds up the digits. So like if you put in one, two, three, four, five, you get 15. That's all it does. But remember your programs now have to run multiple times and you should have a menu. Then we've got, uh, what else did I give you? Temp converter. We already did the temperature converter once. Now we're gonna do it again, but I wanna see where you break it down into separate entities. And you'll have a menu, okay? And again, 
I all I say this every time, and I'll get I'll bet you I'll get five of you guys that'll misspell Celsius or even Fahrenheit. Be careful of your spelling. It doesn't look good if you write a program. And especially again, let's pretend you're selling the program to somebody and they see a bunch of misspelled words. Their um, reliability of what you're going to give them might need, you know, they might not buy it. If you can't, you know, they say, geez, he can't even spell. Why would I trust him with my programs, you know? The one we're going to do in class today, I think, because this is a short one. And uh, I mean, it's cute. It, it's like a travel thing. You put in how many days you were gone, basically. And it calculates what your reimbursement is. Um, let's see. Let's see. We put in how many days you're gone and how many miles you drive, I believe it is. Okay. So that's what we're going to work on today. And of course, ACME puts out this uh, program. We're always working for ACME. All right. So we got this and our friend Ant and our travel. Uh, calculator or something. There we go. Okay, you guys out there? Somebody tell me you can hear me. Yeah, yeah. Can hear you. All right. So we got the Acme travel. Uh, reimbursement <laughs> calculator. This will be just travel calculator. And the date already is Columbus Day, 10. Well, or indigenous, indigenous, uh, whatever. Um, author D. Peterson. I don't know. I think some schools still have class today, actually, including us, of course. pop that in there. I don't know if I can or not. Should be able to. Look at that. That is special. Oh, we'll just go back like that and then just do this. Looks good. Do 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 All right, so I know I've got input. So I'm gonna get my um, scanner here. There it goes, locks up again. I think I just typed too fast. <laughs> 
I learned to type in the military. You sit in a room by yourself or not by yourself. No instructor. It's just a camera or a TV set on the wall. This is back in the late 60s and 70s, though. And there was a, a movie thing on, and you'd go A, A, A space, B, B, B space. And there's no um, letters on the keys. And it was a, a teletype. And if you couldn't type 30 words a minute after two weeks, you had to start over again. Believe me. That sounds horrible. It was terrible. Just unbelievably. I think it was really a form of torture. But but luckily, I made the 30. I, I can't believe I, I must have just made the 30. I don't remember how close I was. but And then uh, when I got sent to my duty station, um, I was a communicator for the commander-in-chief of the Pacific. And we had to type... Uh, in Vietnam, we had to type the bombing sorties and stuff like that every morning. And it was about 23 pages long and you couldn't leave until you finished it. So I used to, I got pretty fast at one point in my life. I've kind of slowed down over the years. But, Cause you wanted to go home, you know? So let's go ahead and establish our scanner. Let me think here, are we gonna need it in more than one place though? Uh, we're going to be entering, uh, maybe not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's, so I'm going to put our scanner outside of our main. So now its scope is going to be throughout the whole class. It'll, everybody, every method in this program, because if I put it in here, it's only good from here to here in the main. So if I had somewhere else where I want to get input, I'd have to have another one. So why have several of them when I can just declare one here? And I'm going to say it's private static. I'm going to make it ab uh, a uh, constant. And so if I, you know, kind of scanner, con in is equal to a new scanner of the system in type. So now that has a scope of this whole class, okay? So everything on this from where it says public class down. And so this has a scope of the entire Class. So we don't have to worry what module or, or method it's in, okay? So I got that. So first thing I'm going to do is my uh, char, uh, oh, what do I want to call it today? Uh, keep going. I'll make that a quit. A lot of times we make uh, things like that so that we can control because I'm going to have a menu. So I'm going to use Q for quit. I got my do here. Oops, I don't want that. That. Okay, so that's inside that. And that's inside that. Okay, so inside my do move. Oh, that's, let's see, yeah, that's right. This will be while keep going is not equal to the Q. Remember, single, bra uh, single uh, because it's a char, we got single quotes around it, not double quotes. Okay. 
And so you could run it now even, and it should quit right away after it starts running. Because it's already, I'm setting it to quit right here. So it becomes a queue, and so it quits right there. All right, so then let's go here. And we're gonna say keep going is equal to show menu. And this is me calling a separate method. I'm not sending anything to it right now. Okay. Um, so I leave the main and go down here. If you don't understand something, make sure you ask me. Uh, and so this is going to be my, uh, let's see. Oh, it does return something of the type char and show main, not to be confused with chow main, <laughs> chow main. And this will be private static char show menu. So now we need a prompt system out dot print. And we're gonna say slash n for a new line, just in case we're up against something else. And a nice little banner here that says, um, I forgot what this thing even is. Oh yeah, the travel calculator, Acme. Travel cost calculator. That's a good answer. I like that. I'm going to change the name up at the top to cost calculator. Do that real quick here. Travel cost. All right. Da 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 da. Squeeze in there. Hit enter, slash T for a tab, and we'll have uh, calcul. Oops, calculate a trip expense. Slash N. Oops, and then we'll have a slash T. We'll have a T do that. And then we'll have a slash T and our quit. And then we'll have slash N. It's okay there. And we're gonna go ahead, once you have that, let's go ahead and put it in a do loop. Something like that. And then we'll have uh, okay. so we need a variable here. Uh, 
um, char choice. And then down here, we will have outside of, no, in the do, we will have choice being equal to our uh, con in dot next dot two upper and then our char at and then our zero. Again, makes it so whatever they type in, all we're doing is picking off the first letter, changing it to an uppercase, okay? And then we'll have a warning here if, uh, if choice, is not equal to C and Copy that, put it here. Da, 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 da. That looks pretty good, I think. Oh, and then we got a return, oops, right here. We'll have return choice. So again, this is a, a, a function that returns a value. The value is a char. And so we're gonna go up here and in here, we're gonna make sure that it in fact returns it. So we should, we're gonna just say system dot, 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 print line, keep going. That way we can check after we do our first method. And again, this method's gonna do one thing and do it well. It's gonna go ahead and get the choice of the user. I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna run. See if it, anything happens. There we go, there's my menu. And I can choose C, keeps going. I can do T, keeps going. I can do an A, and it says, wait a minute, only C, T, and Q are valid entries. Choose again. I choose a Q and it stops. So it seems to work very well. So now we know that works.
All right. We're going to. This one, um, we'll just call it days. And we're going to call it set days. All right. Now, reason I use the word set is that later on, when you start working in uh, multiple classes, setting means that we're going to set a value to a variable. Getting means we're going to go get a, a variable. So later on in the course, we'll be using setters and getters. So for right now, I'm just going to call this set days. So now I know it's of what type. Oh, I better put in here. It is an int because we want whole days. You can't get part of a day. So our method is going to be an integer method. So we're going to come down here. And once again, it's an int set days. Cute little divider, and this will be private static int set days. We're not sending anything down yet. Okay. So this will always have a red line on it till, um, until we put our return in. Okay. So we're going to have system dot out dot print. How many days was the trip? That's good. And then we will have our while not con in, oops, con in dot has next int and Let's limit them to uh, maze was a trip. I'm going to say one to 30 or one, yeah, one month. So one to 31. The trip. Put parentheses around that part. There we go. There, and we'll just say Control C that, Control V it in.
ببینم And I'm going to have to move that outside my loop here. popped a space in there or a line feed and a line feed here. And this will be I'm going to go back up to the top and now I'm going to go here plus add days. See if we can go get days. That'll work. All right, so we got C, and if I put in an A, it says I can't do that. If I put in 32, it says I can't do that. If I put in 10, it prints out that I chose C, and I picked 10 days, so that works. All right. So now I need one for miles driven. So it's going to be 
miles. And it's going to be just simple select miles. It's going to be very similar to this. So I'm going to copy this. And just change some of the wording. So I paste that in. I get an error here, of course. That's because I got two things named the same thing right now. So this will be set miles now. This will be set miles. And this will be. miles driven All right. So that's than zero, and if greater than. Four ninety nine. Uh oh, somebody. <laughs> but they might not have to drive anywhere. They might take a taxi or something. Hello? Somebody's got an open mic. Hi. And then we'll return miles driven. So then we'll come up to the top here and then we can say plus again checking every time I add something I'm checking whether or not it's working. Got that, that, that. So let's try it. Oops.
type to C somewhere up in my code now, right? There it is. Down here, type of C. One days was a trip. Oh, I don't know, 10. I don't know, miles driven. Let's try minus one. It says you can't do that. And uh, miles driven, if I type an A, can't do that. Let's say I drove 125 miles. I can do that and it printed out, it chose C for calculate. I got 10 days at 125 miles. So that is good. I don't know if I like that though. We'll see, driving be limited at 500 miles. How about during a trip? Is that enough miles? That'd be, well, for 30 days, that ain't very many. Maybe 1,500 miles. Just put a one in front of everything here. Is what if they're gone a month? Yeah, yeah that looks better. I just typed another letter somewhere. There it is. All right, so I got that. Da, 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 up here, and then we can do, I could create a separate, how did I have it set up in the assignment? So create a program to calculate the user reimbursed by company travel, blah, 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 blah. And then program should have a menu selection of re reimbursement test program, et cetera, that's fine. Okay, so let's just use these. And I'm gonna I'm gonna copy them so I can bring them over here. And we'll say uh, double. Um, And this time I'm gonna send days and the miles along with it to the method because I need those numbers. And I don't wanna make their scope bigger. I could move them out here with my scanner, okay? But that would make their scope bigger and there's no reason for it because I can just send them down to that method so that they're only good down in that method. Okay, they can see it. So I said set re and something like that anyway. All right, so this is going to be set reimbursement. Oop, I forgot to put in the double. And that's just a divider and a reminder. It doesn't do anything in the program. It's kind of, as we make these programs bigger, it's nice to have dividers. And it's private, static, double set reimbursement. And if I'm sending them down, I have to have something to catch them. So this is going to be int num days and int num miles. These are different variables that are being, the values we're sending down are being caught. Like that's the picture and these are the catchers down here. So they're different variables than the ones up there. 
they just contain the same, uh, the, the whatever is up there, the values of these are the same as the ones up there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think we're gonna print the reimbursement here too. Either that or we'd have to break that down farther or create variables outside. And I can do that. We want to do that. Let's see what we need here, first of all. <sighs> Let's do that. And again, I just need this so I can read it. And I could have put it up here, couldn't I have? Let's do this, this might be even better. All right, now I can see all that. So the big question is, do we want to print from set reimbursement or do we want to print from the main? Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, I'm gonna print from the main, okay? So let's do this. So I'm gonna need a variable here, private static um, double meals, private static double parking, private static Taxi, double taxi, private, static, double lodging, and private, static, double um, Hmm. Something like that. Now I don't have to, you know what? This can be a void. So I don't need this. Oh no, I can send back the total. That'll be good. We'll send back the total. Um, so now I need to calculate. So uh, um, double meals is equal to num days times, oops, I need some constants.
And we're not going to worry whether or not the person actually, we're going to just say that they use some of this every day or whatever. We're not going to break it down. Oh, I used a taxi on one day. And if you understand what I'm saying, we're going to, the company reimburses at this rate, no matter if they use it or not. Let's just put it that way. That we had one called Miles. Oh, meals. Jeez. Mr. Peterson, yes. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but in a few minutes, I'm going to have to leave to pick my mom up from work. Sorry. Okay. That's all right. Just you're, if you're up to this point, then just go ahead and uh, you can finish it from the video. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.
All right. So now we can go up here. Then we could add total here, or reimbursement cost. Um, well, we know that all those work, so we can just go here. Let's see if we get any reimbursement cost here. Oh, we can do. Uh, You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the, believe me, that'll work. And then we'll just do here, we'll do um, display receipt or reimbursement. We're not returning anything here. Okay, so it's a void. So we're going to go down here. Where did I make it again? Display reimbursement. Oops, I need to send total cost down. So we'll have total cost inside there. Oh no, reimbursement cost, reimbursement cost. Oops, that dollar sign should be outside that.
Whoops. Forgot my end there. And I don't want one there, I don't think. So we got that. So let me stop what I got running here. And let's run it. And I'm gonna say C. And I'm gonna say one day. And I'm gonna say uh, 10 miles. So oh, I missed a slash on, I guess I do need a slash on there. So one day's worth of meals should be 40 bucks, parking 20, taxis 30, lodging 100, 100 times 50, or 10 times 57 cents is 570, and $1, 195, 150, 190, 195.70, looks right. So the only thing I'm missing is a slash N here. Which I took out. That, like that. And do, 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 do. Let's see what else we need. Oh, in our... Outside of here, our loop in the main, we're just going to say system. So that's outside the loop. Once you quit, it shows that. I'll put a slash in here so it's as a divider. Now let's see what it looks like. All right. So make your mind, I want a Q here. And I'll say 10 days and 100 miles. That looks pretty good. Did I hit a Q? I don't look at the... Uh... Hang on one second here, just play it. Oh yeah, it did, okay. So then I need a cue here. Oops. Why did it do that? How many days? I didn't add another C. I put a cue in. Why did it not take it? Hang on one second, I wanna see, and then I'll answer your question. Why did it not quit on Q? I got something goofed up now. Oh, I put in a small letter Q, but I thought I had a, con in, char at zero, should be a Q, a 
Cobra Cave skill. Oh, if you can see it kept going. But then why when I go back? Oh, I know why. Let's try this. But that ain't right. It should reset every time. Even if I do that, because this comes back, keep going, goes there. Oh, once I do it, it comes da 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 down here. Keep going is not equal to Q. So when I take my so it comes back, let's see, it does all that, comes back to the menu. Goes here to chart choice. And it should come right back here. Then why did it not? Oh, I know. This has to be this. Then we can do all this. Okay, so we got that now. This can go back in. Now let's try it. All right, so I pick C. I put 10 and 10. It comes back up. I pick Q and it quits. There you go. All right, so make this change right here. There should be an if. In here, right here. All this stuff should be in an if. Okay, does anybody need me to scroll anywhere? Yeah, can I take a look at the reimbursement method? Okay, and then uh, show menu. Whoops. What happened there?
anybody else. Okay, you got that? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to scroll through once real slow. <laughs> Again, these are can be used anywhere in the whole class. <laughs> Excuse me. These, the scope is only from here to here. Here we sent our calculations down to be done in here. But our results are again up in those variables that we gave um, scope of the whole class to. This total cost is only good in here uh, until it's passed back up to our cost in our, uh, our total. And then we send total down here to here and then I'm just going to finish this whole thing off with a no code follows. And save it. And then I'm going to stop my sharing. And stop the recording, which I will put on YouTube.